genius supplies. What's up, Spikes? Welcome back to the Spike Feeders World Headquarters. Winnipeg, Manitoba, Jerry sitting next to me, and Fallout Precondex. That's right, we got another game coming to you live here on this fine YouTube channel. Thanks to our friends over at Wizards of the Coast for hooking us up with these decks, and thanks to Game Genic, our generous sponsors that make sure that we have all the equipment that we need to play this game. We're going to jump right into it, but before we do, comment, like, and subscribe. Just go do it right now. You know you're going to like the video. You know you're going to complain about something, so just get it done now so you can focus and watch. My name's Alex, and today I'm playing the Mutant Menace, helmed by the Wise Mothman. That's right. It's a flying-in-the-air beater that gets bigger every time someone mills a non-land card. And just happens to pass out rad tokens, which makes people mill cards. It's almost like a combo. Huh. That's how that works. Is this? That is how that works. <laughs> oh, that, those, those, those are my moth feelers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's from a mole, actually. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Jim. I'm playing Scrappy Survivors. This is a Naya deck, uh, helmed by dog meat. This is uh, a dog, obviously. Uh, nobody, nobody kill it. Uh, it's a Voltron deck. It plays auras it plays equipment it plays all sorts of stuff that synergizes with auras and equipment uh and the idea is we're loading up dog meat with a ton of uh gear and then he's gonna swing some axes or whatever dogs do uh, and, and what my, happens when you swing with stuff well i don't know i make junk yeah yeah i think yeah i haven't, I haven't read dogs this, and right? junk yeah. i can't That's read them i'm not about to start <laughs> Uh, I'm Jan. I am uh hail caesar uh helmed by kaiser the legion emperor and uh, I, apparently I'm the bad guy, and all the bad guys from Fallout are in this deck, which is pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, just a Mardu attack deck. Make tokens, attack people, join the Legion, we are one. Come to me, my friends. You got it. All right. <laughs> Hi. Uh, friendly Neighborhood Jeremiah here. Um, today, it is my turn to, uh, as the kids say, do science! That was horrible, but we're keeping it. Anyway, uh, I'm on a, the science deck today with Dr. Madison Lee. Uh, it's an artifact shenanigans based deck. Also gets some energy, a little fallout, you know, it's fun. That's the name of the movie. It's the name of the movie. Slash video game, slash card game, slash board game. Slash, slash... TV series coming to Amazon Prime, I think. Yeah, it's probably already there. Phone, phone game. Yeah. Well, any case uh, folks, if you radioactive. are watching this, and say, wow, I really want those decks. There's a link in the doobly-doo. You can go click pre-order from that link, and it helps out the channel. We just want to say thanks so much for that. And in the meantime, let's crack in to these Game Janic Bastions. I won the dice roll, so I'm going to start the game. We'll start with an island into the most powerful turn one play in these decks. Zorin? Nah. Land cycling. Ooh, Off of Ash Barrens. Okay, oh. sure. Off Ash Barons, I'll put this forest into my hand and pass it over to my good friend Jim. Okay, I'll draw a card. I'm going to play a Temple of Triumph tapped. Scry one. Uh, oh, yeah, I like this. I'm leaving that on top. No. I'll pass. All right, I'm going to draw this card. I liked what uh, Jim did, so I'm going to also play a Temple of Triumph and uh, Scry one. Uh, I won't keep this on top. Uh, and then I'll pass to Jerry. All right, uh, Auntie Puff, keep draw. I'm going to do the most powerful uh, turn one play in Magic. Island. Tap Island for Soul Ring. Tap Soul Ring for Talisman of Creativity. Pass the turn. Just a few artifacts. Where's your Where's your Moxes and Black Lotus? I don't want to play Not with Jerry anymore. Commander. Oh, right, right. Mm. I'll draw a card. Play this Forest and tap two for Talisman of Resilience. I'll take one pain for a green to cast Hardened Scales. <gasps> oh, I don't like our odds, Jim. <laughs> yeah, looking pretty grim. <laughs> no, this usually makes things evens, but that's fine. Pass the turn. I'm coming for you first. That's fine. Planes. I'm going to cast Ian the Reckless. So it's a 2-1. Whenever it attacks, if it's modified, I can have it deal damage equal to its power to me and any target. Oh, oh that's great. That's, cool. that's a cool one, right? That's super yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be it for me. I'll pass. All right. I'm going to draw this card I didn't know about. I'm going to play this Shadow Blood Ridge, and then I'm going to cast an Arcane Signet. And then I'm going to land cycle this Ash Barons. Hey, that's hey, a great hey, play. Hey, hey. I'll put this mountain into my hand, and then I'll pass. All right, untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, yikes, we did not get our white source. Play a mountain, be a little sad. Only a little, though. 
Island, colorless. A Curie Emergent Intelligence. Ooh. That's a good one. Yeah, we saw that one last game. Whenever Curie Emergent Intelligence deals combat damage to a player, draw cards equal to its base power. Pass the turn. Yeah, and then you can reset that base power, right? By having a copy something? Exile another target, non-token artifact creature I control, and Curie becomes a copy of that creature, except it has whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw cards equal to its power. Yeah, that's great. I'm going to draw a card. I'll play a Swamp. I'll tap one, two, three, four, four. The wise Mothman. Mothman. Everybody gets a uh, radiation. I already hate this. <laughs> eh, it'll be okay. It'll no, only it's be, be like a 7-7. Seven, seven. No, actually probably closer to an 11-11. Yeah. And we'll pass the turn. Okay. I'm going to untap. I will draw a card and deal with my radiation. It's Cass, Hand of Vengeance. So I'm going to take one and lose my rad counter. That sounds good. I will put a counter that becomes two counters on the Wise Mothman. Oh, hard. This is a problem. This is a problem. Who put hardened scales in this deck? Thanks, wizards. Elizabeth Rice, I'm coming for you. <laughs> uh, I will. I've already drawn my card for turn, so I'm gonna play a Sun Petal Grove untapped, and I think I'm gonna pay one to cast this Basilisk Caller. Move to a clip. Yep. I'm gonna attack Jan. That's fair. Yeah. With Ian, and I'm gonna deal the damage to Mothman. Okay. Yep. So Mothman will die. Yep. Go back Jan to the command zone. I'll take two. two. Yep. And I'm going to pass. <laughs> Draw this card. I'm going to trigger my rad. What? Mysterious stranger. <gasps> this card's so... I don't know if he's good, but... It's my favorite seven. perk. Oh, I'll put a counter on... Oh. 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 I'm going to play this tapped Dragon Skull Summit um, and not do anything. Yeah, pass the turn. All right. Untap, upkeep. Draw planes. Mill a planes. Uh, we milled Rex, Cyberhound, Doggo Down. Uh, Alex won you. The gym's open. Alex won you. <laughs> yeah, 38. <laughs> I'm going to draw a card and hopefully it's a planes. <laughs> I'm going to pass the turn, I guess. Okie dokie. We're going to untap, upkeep, draw, rad step. Rad step says, Lily Bowen, Raging Grandma to the graveyard. Seven. Okay, well, we're going to continue making our mana base even more perfect with this opulent palace. One, so two, awesome. three, four for Recon Craft Theta. It's a flying vehicle with crew two that says, when it enters the battlefield, create a zero, zero blue alien creature token and put a one, one counter on it. So it's under the battlefield. Here's my alien and I'll put one, oopsies, two counters on it. Oh yeah, hard oh. And then it says, whenever Recon Craft Theta attacks, proliferate. Oh, oh, oh that's good. That's the name of the movie. Oh, I'll get all your, oh, no radiation counts. It's weird. Smart. Pass. Smart. We did good for us not to do that. Untap. Draw a card. I'll play this Sunscorch Divide as my land for turn. Very nice. And I think I'm going to cast my commander. Dog, Dog meat. meat. Ever loyal. Yep. Dog meat's good. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I'm going to mill five cards and I will return an aura or equipment card from my graveyard to my hand. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we've got a mountain, we've got a canopy vista, we've got a path to exile, a soul ring, and an inventory management. That mm. is no... So that's a big old whiff. Those are really Oof. good. That's a good opening hand. Yeah, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Uh, combat. Yep. Uh, Jam. Yep. 35. Uh, so 35. Uh, I guess on attack, we've got some damage to give out to. Jerry, you can take the damage. So Jan to 35, Jared to 37. Yep. And that's going to be it for me. I'll pass. All right, round's up. Draw. It's crazy how good that is. It's pretty good. <laughs> I, I thought at first it was just target player, not any target. Yeah. yeah. Let's play this card because it's not crazy disruptive yet. We're going to run the Nipton Lottery. Oh, well, nice. Uh, choose a creature at random. I gain control of that creature till end of turn. Untap it. It gains haste until end of turn. Then destroy all other creatures. So one, two, three. Oh, at random, right? Random. Four. So four creatures. Okay. So roll a d6 yeah. and re-roll on one and six. One and six re-rolls. So two, three, four, five. Five. Dog meat. You get a dog meat. Okay. Oh, and then. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. So untap it, gains haste, then destroy each of the creatures. Okay. Oh, thank so, gosh that guy's gone. <laughs> kind of what I wanted to happen. Jim. Yeah. How loyal is dog meat? Uh, loyal enough that he won't deal damage to me, actually. Sorry, Jan. All right, well, I'll take Jim for three. Yeah, I'll take three. Yeah, bring it down to 40. Uh, and I'll pass the turn. And you have your dog in the back. Okay. All right, end of uh, Jan's turn. I'm going to tap... Uh... Oh, actually, I missed a I'm trigger sorry. on my turn. Uh, when I attacked with Ian, I should have made a junk. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's sure. right. 
All does right. he make a junk when he attacks? Whenever a creature I control attacks. Oh, that's so I make a junk. Enchanted or equipped. Oh, yep. enchanted or equipped. Yeah. It wasn't equipped. Yes, yeah. correct. Cool. All right. Uh, taking a pain off of Talisman to add a blue, going down to 36. Uh, and then two other mana. I'm going to X equals three. Uh, follow him. I'm going to investigate three times. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. That's three clues. And then uh, James is on an adventure. Okay. All right. Tell me how it goes. Yeah, I will. <laughs> there and back again. <laughs> the Jail of Hash story. <laughs> um, well, I need to find a white source. Good luck. Soul Ring, uh, Sack of Clue. Well, I need to find a white source. <laughs> we did it! Uh, tap two. Uh, sack of Clue. Sack of Clue. Well, I need to... <laughs> Pass the turn. Uh, well, I get a land oh, turn. Right. Yeah, sure. Tap land. Indestructible land, baby. It's also an artifact. Mm. It is also an artifact. Pass the turn. There we go. We'll tap one, two, three for Tireless Tracker. Oh, that's a good one. I'll play a Swamp as land for turn. Trigger Tireless Tracker. Make a clue. Tap two. Sack a clue. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. uh, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Tireless Tracker. Get Whoops. two counters. It's two counters. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we'll crew Recon Craft Theta. Yeah. And we'll swing in for four at gym. Bring you down to 36. Yep. Uh, when I attack, proliferate. Go ahead and tick this up. And that's literally uh, the twice. only target. One more counter. Oh my goodness, you're right. <laughs> oh. Pass the turn. Uh-huh. <laughs> I want to. Oh, that's a 7-6. That's a I will draw a card. Uh, I think I'm just going to sack this junk. Impulse. Oh, Rootbound Craig. Oh, I will play it. Good job, Craig. That was very fortuitous. Unless I control a forest or a mountain, it is tapped. Very observant of you, Jan. That's right. Keeping everybody honest. Uh, get out of the comments. <laughs> <laughs> no, get in the comments, but for not that. Yeah. I'm going to equip dog meat with the Basilisk Caller. Mm -hmm. Yep. Then I'm going to move to combat. And Alex is now at the highest life total, so dog meat coming in at Alex. Trigger, make a junk. 34 for Alex, 39 for Jim. Uh, in my second main, I am going to cast Kate Cage Brawler. Oh. This is a 1-1. One, one. As long as it's my turn, this has Indestructible. Whenever it attacks, me and defending player each draw a card. Then I discard a card. And then I put two plus one plus one counters on it if I discarded the card with the highest mana value among those cards or tied for the highest. Uh, it's going to be it for me. I'll pass. Whew. That's a lot of stuff. Untap. Uh, okay, let's play this Tainted Peak as my land for turn. All right, I'm going to cast Craig Boone, Novak Guard. Uh, reach and lifelink 3-3. Three, three. Uh, one for my baby. Uh, whenever you attack with two or more creatures, put two quest counters on Craig Boone, Novak Guard. When you do, Craig Boone deals damage equal to the number of quest counters on it to up to one target creature, unless that creature's controller has Craig Boone deal that much damage to them. Okay. Hmm. Sure. I don't know what that said. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted the creature. It said uh, when he does the thing, put counters on him, then deal damage equal to the counters either to a creature or your own face. Yeah. It says it says when that is relevant, Jan's gonna reread it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to need to get some red sort or white sources. Would you believe me if I told you it did not draw a white source? I would. Yeah, I would. So I'm gonna tap one two. Tapping my clue as part of the cost. A red and a blue. Improvise? So yeah, improvising using that. Uh, I'm going to bottle cap blast. Oh, fun. Deals uh, five damage to any target permanent. It's going to be that. No. Wait, it's is just, it my turn? No. Oh, so it doesn't have indestructible. <laughs> yeah. um, so uh, that was a 1-1. One, one. I dealt four excess damage, so I'm going to make four treasure. Wow. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, just white source. Refunds. It's yeah. kind of cool because it's got to improvise and then also refunds its cost if yeah. you um, pop something small. Yeah, I'm kind of a, a fan of that. That's a they are tapped thing. treasure tokens. So sad. I will never forgive Watsy for what they have done to me. <laughs> you know what's wild? <laughs> you can still crack this treasure or this clue because it doesn't tap. Yeah, side. you can do clues. Yeah. yeah. Yes, but instead I'm going to play a thought vessel and sure. pass the turn. Sounds good. We're going to untap. I'm going to pay six. For the wise Mothman. <gasps> Everybody nice. was radiating. Hiya! <laughs> Welcome for that one. Thanks, Jerry. I will then play as my land for turn Mariposa Military Base. <gasps> I may have it enter the build battlefield tapped. If I do, I get two rad counters. I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
I can add colorless, but I can also pay five and tap it to draw a card. This ability costs one less to activate for each rad counter you have. Oh, that's, that's a cool be, card. Yeah. That is a cool card, as they say in the business. Uh, also, can, as they what? Can you please have an enter play tap? If you oh, added oh yeah, play yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was just <laughs> reading it at the. Time. I, you know what? That yeah. makes it easier to read. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I I apologize for misleading you. Thank you. Uh, which also makes me a clue off a Tylus tracker. Yeah. Uh, speaking of things that are cool, I'm going to tap Wise Mothman to crew Recon Craft Theta in my beginning of combat step. Uh huh. And then I'm going to move to the Beats step. And that Beats is coming at Jim with Proliferate. Gentlemen, please add a radiation counter. Rad counter added. And I'm going to add two counters to Tireless Tracker. Okay. Uh, four. Four. I'll go down to 35. Pass the turn. Okay. I'm going to untap. I will draw a card for my turn, deal with my radiation. Dose. Uh, I've got Swift Foot Boots and a Mantle of the Ancients. Oh, Sad. that's rough. Uh, in response to the Mothman trigger, I'm going to crew my Recon Craft Theta. Okay. And then the Wise Mothman will put counters on both the Recon Craft Theta and the Wise Mothman. Yeah, very good. Uh, that's very good. Ugh. And then I'll pass the turn. <laughs> Rather oh, sorry. I'll pass your turn. <laughs> pass my turn. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is where um, I'll pass my priority back to you. Yes. Where Wrath would be good. Five. Okay, I'm gonna crack my junk token. Lux off the top card. It's an armory paladin. Oh, cool. So this is whenever I cast an aura over equipment, um, I can exile the top card of my library. I can play it until the end of my next turn. Oh, your next turn's really nice. Yeah, I was gonna do something else, but this feels really good to cast, so I think I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna pay three mm -hmm. and cast it. Make sure that I can do what I want to do. Yep, yeah. uh, armory paladin. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to pay green and mm -hmm. cast Rancor on Dog Meat. Oh, Ooh, that's good. Draw a card? Or, uh, sorry, Impulse Draw. Yes, I will Impulse Draw. I can play this one until the end of my next turn. It is Preston Pres Garvey. Preston Minutemen. Garvey. There's a settlement that needs our help. There is a settlement. So we'll just we'll just yeah. store that there. Just settle it right there. I can play it until the end of my next turn. Uh, I'm going to move to combat now, I think. Yeah. I would like to declare attacks at Jerry. Four five. Yeah, I, I got uh, I got a stone cold nothing. So going to thirty one, and I'll go to thirty eight, and then that's gonna be it for me. Nice. All right, all right. Two rads. We're we'll go with uh, talisman of conviction and a overseer of vault seventy six. Two for two. Two for two. Do your thing. You oh right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my apologies. Put two there, and we'll put two on tireless tracker. Okay. <laughs> This is going to get out of hand real quick. That's, yep. that's it, eh? I mean, that's reasonable, isn't it? You know what? Yeah, you're right. It's it's reasonable. Uh, well, I'm going to play this tapped Canyon Slow. Then we will cast Kellogg, Dangerous Mind. 3-2 uh, with First Strike and Haste. When Kellogg, Dangerous Mind attacks, create a treasure token. Uh, sacrifice five treasures, gain control of target creature for as long as Kellogg... Uh, as you control Kellogg, activate only as a sorcery. Okay. I'd like to move to combat. If I attack Alex, will he retaliate? Probably. Sounds like it. <laughs> Jerry. Yeah. Uh, so I have two triggers. So one, I'll make a treasure. Uh, two, I'll put two counters on Craig Boone. Um, Is that on attack? So I'd I attack get... with two creatures. Yeah, okay. So I am going to take that. Um, dog meat. Would you like to take two damage to dog meat, or would you like to take two damage? I'd... Two damage to dog meat. Perfect. I'm going to gain two life because he has life link. Okay. Um, Okay. So, how much damage? Jerry's going to take six. Okay. Jerry goes uh, to 25. And I'm going to gain a total of five. Uh, let's just cast our commander. Your commander? My commander. Our commander. We are Legion. Uh, Kaiser. Seasoned role of deliciousness. Post combat Kaiser. Great sequencing. Uh, and a tester. <laughs> Untap. Oh, look at all these treasures I can use now. Upkeep draw. Oh my God. All right, now it's time for my rad step. All right. White source, white source. Keep track at <laughs> home. Uh, Vault 112, sadistic simulation, and swords to plowshares. Oh, what a good one. Down what to a good 23 one. and no rads. Counters but... on Mothman and Tireless Tracker. His tireless Tracker is a 13, 12. <sighs> yep. yep. <laughs> Don't worry, he's just here to crew recon craft theta. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't even have trample or anything. It's kind of useless. Yeah, okay. We're going to go two and red, red. And then as an additional cost, 
Uh, we're going to discard this synth infiltrator. It occurred to me, this is the last time that I'm going to do this uh, on somebody else's turn. I made it. <laughs> um, I'm going to cast Unexpected Windfall. Oh, that's good. Uh, I'm going to draw two cards and create two treasures. And so you discarded Synth Infiltrator for that? Yeah. I'm up to six treasures. I'm going to <laughs> land cycle this Ash Baron. Oh, oh, three for four on this. I finally, game. finally go get the planes. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yes. all right. I'm gonna get my uh, my white source, and uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play it for land for the turn. Okay. Because uh -huh. uh, that seems like proper proper uh, what to do. Sure, <laughs> so close all the time. Professional magic players, folks. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to tap and sacrifice one treasure, talisman of creativity for a colorless, and then a white. And I'm going to play uh, Vault 13, Dweller's Journey. For each player, exile, exile up to one other... Uh, exile, exile up to one other target enchantment or creature that player's controls until Vault 13 leaves oh, the so battlefield. Oh, a grasp of fate. Um, I'm going to exile Harden Scales. Smart. I'm going to exile um, the dog. Okay. Uh, we'll let it go. It's got three chapters? Yeah, three yeah, chapters. You can, yeah, you can have it under. And it. Kaiser. Uh, State-based, Rancor goes to Graveyard and uh, back to my hand. Yep. Uh, and then for myself, I will exile nothing. Pass the turn. Okie dokie. I was going to be furious if Jerry didn't cast a white spell. <laughs> <laughs> going to untap. In my upkeep, since I have five rad counters, I will tap Mariposa military base to draw a card. Yep, that's good. Then I'll draw a card for turn. Then five. One, two, three, four, five. Farseek. Lumbering Mega Sloth. Mm -hmm. Saul Ring. Corpse Jack Menace. Temple of Mystery. Four. Down to one. Go to 30. Then we're doing Mothman things. Um, I think it's just Mothman and Tireless Tracker once again. It's one and one. Oh, one and one. Yes, yeah, sorry. One I, got, one. I got used to that. Oh. I got used to that. Whew. Yeah. Oh, it's addicting, I tell you. It's okay. <laughs> Some, we're paying attention, folks. We'll play an island as our land for turn, making an extra clue off the tireless tracker. Yeah. We'll pay one, two for Contagion Clasp. Ooh. When Contagion Clasp enters the battlefield, I may put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature. I, don't know. Um, I guess target creature is going to be uh, the big guy. There are three twos and a three, three. These aren't counters, they're quest counters. Okay, we'll still put yep, the one, one there. Okay. Um, that has some other text on it that's not super relevant at the moment. And then we we'll where it says proliferate. Yeah, but I'm gonna tap all my mania <laughs> for Meyer Lurk Queen. Ooh. It's a 4 4 vigilant crab mutant. It says when it enters the battlefield, target player gets two rad counters. We'll make that me. Okay. Okay. Whenever more, one or more non-land cards are milled, draw a card, then put a 1-1 one, one counter on my queen. <laughs> oh, God. This ability triggers only once oh, each okay. turn. Okay. <laughs> good, good, good. I'd like to go to the beginning of combat step and tap my alert queen to crew, recon, craft, Seta. Okay. Then I'm going to move to declare attacks. Yep. Uh, we're going to send Mothman at Jim, uh, Tireless Tracker at Jan, and recon, craft, Theta at Jerry. On attacks, I've got a couple of triggers. First, everyone's going to get a rad counter. Then once everybody has their rad counters, we're going to proliferate. It's going to be every rad counters. Do I want hardened scales back faster? I think I do. I'm going to go ahead and proliferate this oh. as well. Please, yeah, please put two on there. Uh, guys, I get a game two. Oh, wait, how does this resolve? Does this happen now? Yes. You just yeah, it will happen now. I'm going to go ahead and finish. Uh, You're proliferating. Proliferating, and now go ahead. I almost cried your deck. So, I mean, leave the good stuff on top, please. Yeah. Uh, bottom, bottom. Okay. <laughs> Mothman will deal 11 damage to Jim. Yeah, I'll take 11. Go to 27 so, with ten with 11 oh, yeah. Mothman damage. Yes. Uh, Tracker is going to deal uh, 15 damage to Jim. Yep. I'll go to 23. 23. And 7 damage to Jerry. 18. 18. Good lord. That was a turn, Alex. It sure was. And now I'll pass it. Okay. I will untap. I will draw a card for my turn. Now I'll deal with my radiation. 
I'm gonna mill Rogue's Passage and Codsworth Handy Helper. One. So one. lose one red, lose one life, going to 26. I've got some triggers real quick. Yeah. Uh, so since uh, a nine line card was milled, I'm gonna draw a card and put a one one counter on my alert queen. That's the only time I can trigger this turn. Okay. Uh, Mothman triggers, and yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and put that counter on Mothman. Okay. I believe the stack is empty. Sure is. Okay, let's uh, crack a junk token. Yep. I'm gonna exile a Sungrass Prairie. I'm gonna play it as my land for turn. Mm -hmm. I like these junk tokens. Yeah, they're pretty good. I, I thought it wasn't good. going to because of sorcery yeah. speed. Yeah, they're they're very much a hmm. I didn't get what I needed. Let's see what I can get. Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting turn. I think. Good. Uh, I'm going to tap three, and cast Brotherhood Outcast. Uh, this is going to return uh, when it enters the battlefield. I can choose one. Return an aura or equipment with mana value three or less from my graveyard to the battlefield, or put a shield counter on target creature. I'm going to choose the first one, bringing back Swift Foot Boots. Swift Foot Booties. Then I'm going to tap Pre War Formal Wear. This Ooh. card is really good. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, return target creature card with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield and attach this to it. And oh, this creature dope. gets plus two plus two and has vigilance. That that's is That's pretty sweet. Mint. It's a three mana equip three. Yeah. Uh, this card is really good. And you get somebody yeah. back for three on that price. Yeah, that's right? crazy. I think I'm going to get, seeing as how I'm going to get my commander back right away, I'm going to get Codsworth back. Oh. This is a two three. It says commanders I control have ward two. That's good. Uh, it also taps for two white and I can only use it to cast auras and equipment. Uh, or I can tap it to attach target aura equipment, aura or equipment I control uh, to target creature I control as a sorcery. So uh, this will attach itself to Codsworth, and that's going to be it for my mana. Uh, actually, the cast was supposed to exile something off the top of my library. This is gone. Uh, this is gone to the end of my turn, but it's getting rid of Exotic Orchard. I've already played a land for turn, so I think that's going to be it for me. So Preston Garvey is now exiled forever. As he should be. Yep. Settlements are bound. Yeah. At me at the comments. <laughs> All right. Let's untap. I'm going to draw this card. And let's resolve our uh, doohickeys. Radiation. Vault 11, Voter's Dilemma. And Smoldering Marsh. All right. One for one. two. Uh, we'll go ahead and put a counter on Mirelurk Queen and Mothman from two separate abilities. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to go to combat because why not? Uh, you look like your shield's down. Mm hmm Yeah. We're going to attack Alex. Okay, okay. So I have two triggers, one, two quest counters on uh, Craig Boone. Okay. Uh, and I'd like to deal four damage to... Uh, four damage to the Mirelark. I'll gain four life. Okay. 26. Uh, then I get a treasure token. And uh, yeah, coming in at you for uh, five. Okay, uh, five is with the minus one, minus one, right? Yep. Okay, so I go to 25. 25. Uh, and then I believe I'm going to uh, cast a Ruthless Rad Rat. So it has squad exile four cards from my graveyard. Oh, that's interesting. I only have seven. So one, two, three, and four. Uh, so I'll make a, cop a token copy of it. Just a two, two with Menace, AKA a blocker. <laughs> Uh, and then I will pass to Jerry. Untap, upkeep, draw, trigger, trigger. Yep. Um, we're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna do this one first. So return two cards. Well, it's the only two cards, so you both get them. Love it. And uh, there's some other text on there, but it does not matter in this situation. And then I will rad step. We are milling Sentry Bot as well as Razor Tide Bridge. That's one. Jerry, 17. 17. And you're losing one rad counter. One rad counter down. I have triggers. Yeah. Two counters on Mirelet Queen. Draw a card. Oh, the hardened scales is back. Sure is. Yep. Two counters on Mothman. I'm going to do something that affects only my board state, but it's going to be cool. I'm a fan of cool, Jerry. Let me see it. All right. Uh, Prairie Stream play. enters the battlefield. Untap. I control two or more basics. Okay. Um, then we're going to tap three mana and we're going to play Dr. Madison Lee. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's, uh, that's the commander of this deck. You might not know her. Uh, I don't cast her ever, or I haven't cast her. Next, we're going to tap four mana, all colorless 
for a pan harmonicon. Ooh, very nice. Uh, trigger. I'm going to get two energy. Or nope. No, oh, that's cast. Yep. You got it. I'm going to get one energy. Mm -hmm. Next, I'm going to tap seven mana using all my treasures. Uh, I'm going to wake the past. Ooh, yeah. I'm going to return all artifact cards from my graveyard to the battlefield. They gain haste until end of turn. It's just too bad that Madison Lee is cast and not ETB. Yeah. But I mean, if it was ETB, it'd be completely busted yeah. with treasures. I thought it was on ETB. I'm not going to lie to you before I cast this card, but we're still happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm getting back Razor Tide Bridge. Uh, mm -hmm. That's an artifact. Sentry Bot. Uh, Synth Infiltrator. Curie and uh, Rex. Keeping in mind, anything that does have an ETB will double. Yes. Yeah. Just of your artifacts. So um, we'll just do Razor Tide, uh, Rex, uh, Curie, uh, Sentry Bot, uh, Synth Infiltrator. Do you know what I want? Mm. I want a Mothman. That's a good call. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but my Mothman is an artifact and Jay. has haste. Cool. Oh, and it makes two rads because of ETBs. Yep, everybody gets red. Yeah, two, two rads. Because of the panel. Yeah. yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I don't want to be part of this game anymore. Let's uh, put this. Yeah. We may not be for much longer. Yeah. <laughs> um, so all of these have haste. Sure do. Um, Alex is tapped down. Sure am. Sorry, I'm going to move my panharmonicon out of the way so it's not with my creatures. Uh, we're going to move to combat. Alex. Yes. It's all coming at you, man. Sounds great. Tell me how much it is. Uh, two five seven eight there's a trigger from mothman on attack it's on attack right or is it yes on it's also on attack so we will uh once again get one more right get one yeah. so i'll take eight go to 17. uh i have two uh combat damage triggers so when you have the two energy i'd mill two cards right yes yeah. okay so that's winding constrictor and inexorable tide oh no Ooh. so you get Two, oh god. Yeah, you've so, already gotten your two energy. No, no, I got then, my two energy. Okay, yeah. and you draw one card. Draw and I draw one card. One card. Okay, and now and we have Mothman triggers. Mothman triggers. My Mothman triggers finish first. I'll put two on my alert queen and two on Mothman. Yep. Um, I will put, uh, I only get one each because yeah. I don't have a hardened scale. Right. I'll put one on Dr. Madison Lee and one on Curie. Anything else, Jeff? I didn't know. I just had fun. I, I was glad to be here. Pass uh, the turn? Yeah, please don't kill me. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, <laughs> sorry, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's we're gonna untap everything. In our upkeep, we're gonna merit code. Yep. Draw a card. And we're gonna draw a card for turn. And then we're gonna radiation eight. Uh-huh. Rawl, troubleshooter, Marcus Mutant Mare, Young Death Claws, Screechy Scorch Beast, Talisman of Dominance, Swamp, Island, Temple of the False God. So, so five. five. So you get to put one plus one plus one counter on oh, up to five, five creatures. creatures. So all my creatures get a plus one plus one counter. And my alert queen trigger. We're gonna play forest as our land for turn. Make a clue. We'll pay two for vexing rad gull. It's got flying. It's a one two. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, that player gets two rad counters. If they don't have any rad counters, otherwise proliferate. Move to declare attacks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you crewing? I am going to crew using tireless tracker. <laughs> okay. That's a big crew. Yep. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, we're going to send. The Wise Mothman at Jan, the Recon Craft Theta at Jerry, this 14, currently 1414 14 Myler Queen at Jim. Then I've got some triggers. Okay. Uh, so everybody gets a rad counter. Woo! Then proliferate. Everybody gets a rad counter. Woo! Okay. So, uh, Jerry, you've got 16 on the ground and 9 in the air. And Jan, you've got a lethal amount of Mothman in the air. Uh, I will block. The ground. <laughs> yes. Um, I will vats the Mothman. Okay. Uh, so we're now into card blockers. Sorry, Jerry, you blocked. Yeah. I block. Okay. Uh, how much is coming to me? None. None. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, you're gonna block and then take nine. Yep. Block. Jerry's at eight. Eight. He's gonna die to his reds. Hopefully. That'd be sick. <laughs> then we'll pass the turn. Okay, I will untap. I'm going to draw a card for my turn. Then I've got six radiation to deal with. This is a sheltered thicket, a Veronica dissident scribe, a valorous stance, a forest, 
a big horner rancher and an abundant growth four four, four. so trigger trigger uh or sorry i only have a mothman yeah alex's trigger happens first yeah he still gets to draw a card yep yeah. yep and then uh i'm just gonna add a counter to all my all my all my guys i'm going to tap three to cast fire shrieker Ooh, Ooh that's good uh this is going to trigger armory paladin to exile the top card of my library it's single combat i'm going to play my exotic orchard Ooh. as my land for turn i'm going to tap codsworth to equip fire shrieker to dog meat okay dog meat has a fiery pokey stick then i'm going to cast rancor, rancor that's good on dog meat trigger armory paladin uh, this is a squirrel nest Ooh. those are both good until the end of my next turn oh yeah i'm gonna move to combat and i'm gonna swing out at jan this is a 5-3 double strike, a 3-3 three, three with, or sorry, double strike trample, a 3-3 three, three, uh, with trample, and a 3-2. So 11 total? Yes. Uh, no. This is 10. 10. Plus 3 oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. is 16. 13. 16. 16. <laughs> uh, no blocks. And I'm going to pass the turn. All right. Untap. Draw. Uh, all right. Six rads. Talisman of Hierarchy. Terramorphic Expanse. Legat. Lethal Scheme, Captain of the Watch, and Planes. Four. My Mothman triggers. Oh, God. And your Mirelark Queen triggers. Sure does. Draw a card. Uh, well, we're going to cast our Commander, because, yeah. Okay. And the game with the Commander, whether we win, lose, or draw. Uh, then we move to combat. Uh, before attacks. We're going to putrefy the guy that gains life when you do stuff. Sure. Okay. Go at Jerry with everything. Not going to trigger uh, Caesar. Uh, so seven. that's seven. Um, and I will make another treasure. So Jerry goes to one? Jerry's, Jerry's one. at one. Rad right. kill. Rad kill. Yeah. Rad <laughs> kill. Rad kill. Uh, and I've got three mana left. Uh, I will pass. Oh, I have to adjust this step. Okay. Too. I'm just seeing if I have anything that gains life on the board. It does no nothing. What does Mothman do? Does Mothman gain me life? Nope. No. Okay. It's a rad counter thing. Got it. So All if right. you get six lands, you're still in the game. <laughs> Tap. You know what? Upkeep. Uh, you do get a draw. I get a draw. I I'm actually I actually get two draws because my clue. Mm -hmm. Great. Sure. So do I? If I want to activate this in my draw step, do I draw a card first and then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You have an upkeep. Yeah. So. And All it's right. a, it, it looks like it's a trigger. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, rads. Draw. Okay. Um. Before we leave my. Uh, my uh before we my, shuffle my, off this mortal coil yeah, yeah. i'm gonna uh, activate tap the talisman the clue token that <laughs> was a land got, that's unfortunate wait we got rid of a land so so you have a choice here jerry you can tap your talisman and go out on your own terms no we don't do that <laughs> no we we go luck okay let's see there. Right. let's jerry. see six lines. Jerry. all right jerry. we're gonna count them off one two three four five six all right first one Dead. 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 All right. Come How on. many other lands? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Okay. No, no. Right. it was half. Yeah. It was 50-50. Jerry's NSEP, any effects? No. Oh, yeah. Jerry milled. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jerry, he did milled. Yeah. yeah. I do put two counters on this and draw a card. All right. We're going to untap. During my upkeep, I won't use Mariposa. I'll just draw for turn. And then we're going to mill five. Nuka Launcher, Catacomb, Piper Right, Command Tower, Feral Ghoul is three. We'll play Sunken Hollow as our land for turn. Make a clue. We'll pay one, two, three, four, five, six for strong, the brutish thespian. Whoa. It's got oh, ward yeah. two and whatever he's dealt damage. I get three rad counters, put three one one counters on strong. I gain life rather than lose life from radiation. Ooh, yeah. Good. Card's good. It is pretty good. <laughs> uh, strong is going to crew recon craft theta, uh -huh. and then things are going to attack. Okay, uh, so Recon Craft Theta at Jan, everything else at Jim. Does the Recon Craft fly? It does. Yeah, I'm dead. Uh, then I'm going to proliferate real quick. Okay. Everybody's rad counters. <laughs> I'm already dead. <laughs> <laughs> Strange but true benefit. Uh, and here, and that's good. Uh, so, so this is 
21. 21 here, uh, 24, and 1. And one. And one. And how much, one, how much one for up? me? Uh, 11. Yeah. So, Jan, you're dead? I'm probably you're dead. Not to clan blockers? No, no, I'm dead. Okay, well, I am going to Chaos Warp your Mire, work, Mire Lurk Queen uh, and take exactly 22 damage and still die. The one was <laughs> hey. surprisingly relevant. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There it's, we go. This, this boom was going to kill that thing, too. Whew, that that was this boom made all the difference. A lot. There's a lot going on. Jen, I was really hoping that you were going to block when I attacked you because you had your two, 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 two yeah. menaces. And I'm like, I just need one of them blocked because I could have gotten an extra combat out of it. Yeah. Um, which I'm not sure if it would have It would have been cool, though. Anything, but so, you probably would have killed me instead of Jan killing me. There, there's, there's a world where when I went to attack, I was like, oh, I'm going to sacrifice this thing and to activate the Emperor. And I was like, no, because then I'm not dealing enough damage to Jerry, so I'll just not think. But he puts two one ones, so it's the same amount of damage. And I would have been one down one life, drawn a card, and that was the top card in my library. Mm. Target uh, entrapment maneuver. Target player sacrifices an, atta an attacking creature. You create X one one X, uh, where X is the toughness. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was hoping that you would be a little less ambitious on your attack. <laughs> because I had the Chaos Warp. If it was one big creature, I could have lived um, and then single combated on my turn yeah. and cracked back yeah. and maybe tick, maybe stolen it. But, yeah. uh, but you, I was, you I was really low. I was safety. really low. So um, Yeah, no, that was kind of crazy. Wise Mothman plus Hardened Scales goes oh, nuts. Oh, double Mothman. Yeah. And that, that like, Queen, sneaky good. Uh, yeah. Super sneaky good because it's once per turn. Yeah, and but it seems to happen every turn. Yeah, because right, 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 counters, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of out there um i feel like this deck has some exceedingly strong synergy even more especially than the energy deck yeah. but i gotta say that uh, open the vaults effect that you had with the haste yeah that was pretty great yeah probably should, like in reality i shouldn't have swung but uh you know jerry we gotta go if i'm going out i'm shooting i say you 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 certainly shot and the number of counters you got on your stuff copy and mock man was yeah sick. yeah i'm not i, I read it and i was like Oh, we got a. What do I got? Nothing. And then I read it again, and I was like, "Oh, it's any creature on the battle." Yeah, I, I think if you untap, you probably kill me and maybe one other. Probably, we yeah, were all pretty low. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. could have like not killed Jerry just to see what Jerry did, but that's a wild card decision. Yeah, it's that was very like, yeah. considering I had my own Mothman. I love this pre-war formal wear. That's, uh, yeah, that's this so this card is really good. Um, mm -hmm. Like I read it twice in my hand. I'm like, this can't do what I think it does. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh no, it does. It does. Well, that like that boon. Like that the card, boom. the three three with reach, it's got reach and life length. When it two creatures attack, yeah, it's cumulative. Yep, yeah, and yep. it's like okay, yeah, twos and fours and then it gets six, eight. Yeah, that starts getting eight. pretty crazy. But pretty then quick. you gain the life, yeah, because it's the life length. Yeah. Well, and basically, essentially saying browbeat creature or face yeah. is that's yeah. wild. Yeah. Well, and speaking of uh, this, this Ian guy, <laughs> that was, uh, was a problem too. With, I mean, obviously, it, it yeah. was amplified by a million with Basilisk Caller. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's really, really, really good. I actually thought about getting it back with the pre war formal wear. Uh, um, because this makes funny. it a four three, yeah, and then I start paying things for four. It doesn't oh, even need God. death touch at this point. Yeah, exactly. You know? But the life link is like, the life link is relevant too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was hoping to uh, equip the the booties and the vassalist yeah. collar because trample death touch is also real nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but how'd you how'd you feel about your deck overall, there, Jer? Uh, we did a Jerry thing, which is kept a really fast hand without one of our colors of mana. Got incredibly punished for it because um, I would have been able to. I was hoping I'd have the white on my turn cycle a little earlier, so I could stop your hardened scales for the three turns yeah. earlier mm -hmm. and prevent you from snowballing as much as you did. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it was a little late. Probably should have done a creature at that point instead of the hardened scales, but again, yeah, I think just trying like to buy resetting time. the Mothman would have been good. Yeah. Like just... Mothman's such an engine in here that it's, yeah. it's fine if you take him out early, but once he's already suited up, some of the others it just yeah. gets kind of nuts. Yeah. I also think it's kind of cool the interaction between sagas and proliferate, and depending yeah. on, like, if, if the saga has an effect that Jer needs a turn or two to set up for, you can yeah. just speed it along and be like, oh no, it's going to happen before you're ready for it. Yeah. yeah. I think that's really cool, especially on an O ring effect. Yeah. Right? yeah. And on your own side. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I really think overall that these decks are really great. And if you overall think these decks are really great, why don't you check out the link down in the doobly doo? You can. Find a place to go get them or just pre-order from one of the retail partners that you find there. We'd really appreciate it if you did because Wizards of the Coast was nice enough to send these to us early so we can make this content for you. If you like that, make sure to like the video, leave a comment, 
But before you do, also check out the Patreon link because that's those people right over there. Those are our patrons. They keep the lights on around here. And if you want to join their illustrious ranks, you can click that Patreon link where for as little as one US dollar, you can support this show to keep content like this coming to you. Thank you once again to our sponsor, Gamegenic, and we hope you have a wonderful day.